and irrationalize when we light my head. That's me engaging with the OCD because that's just what it wants. It wants me to listen to it. It wants me to respond back to it. It wants me to explain why it's wrong or why it's right or anything. It just wants to get me there. And I've just got to go, okay, I had that thought. Moving on. <laughs> but not in a way like it's very hard not to, to be annoyed or irritated when those intrusive thoughts just pop in your head constantly. It's very, and when you know a day draws on, there's lots and lots and lots of them. It's very hard to be so accepting that they're there and move on because it can, it can be a real quite big drain. And I find that really, really hard for our day. Um, and, you know, and they don't just have to be, you know, there can be many, many different reasons. Um, OCD can be about, for, for me, I get OCD around lying, so the OCD is often trying to tell me that I've lied about something, or there's a possibility I've lied about something, or I've been deceitful, or I haven't told the whole truth, or um, I did this facial expression at the wrong time, therefore I sent someone the wrong emotional message, therefore I must tell them what I actually meant. I must confess. I must confess that I've lied. I must confess there's a possibility for you to deceive. I can't actually say something for certain to somebody. Someone asks me, have you done this? I can't say, yes, I haven't done it, even though I feel with all of me that I haven't done it. I have to go, I'm not sure. Just because OCD makes me question. Makes me question what I have and haven't done. And this also goes into something I get called false memory OCD, which is where if somebody's really convinced of something, even if I was physically there, even if I have photographic evidence, if they keep on, you know, saying this definitely, definitely, definitely happened, I will become, I'll first I'll go, no, no, it didn't. I was there, this is what happened, here's a picture, blah, blah. And as they keep on going, you know, this definitely happens, definitely happened. I will become less and less certain. I'll be going, well, no, 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 it didn't, did it? Sh no, no, surely it didn't. No, no, I was there. When I mean, it didn't happen, like, yes, 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 it did. I'm like, well, well, you know, and my brain goes, well, you can't remember this part. You can't remember this part. And eventually it'll go, um, well, it could have, maybe it happened. I'm not sure anymore. Did it happen? I saw that. Did I really see that? Could have I imagined it? Did it really happen? I'm not sure anymore. I'm not really sure it at all. It could have happened differently, couldn't it? But I did only think that I saw that. I didn't definitely see it. I thought I definitely did it. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe it didn't. And then this doubting goes more and more and more on until I'm at the point where I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm no longer certain. And then when I'm no longer certain, if the other person is, keeps on going, keeps on saying, this could be over the course of weeks, um, keeps on saying, no, it definitely happened this way. I'm like, it could have, couldn't it? Maybe it did. You know, I believe this person. They make a lot of sense. You know, I like this person. They're my friend. Well, it must have happened that way. They wouldn't lie about it. You know, why am I so unsure? You know, it must have happened that way. Come on. It must have. You know, over time, it's the case where if they're very insistent, it can change for me going, I literally witnessed this thing happening. What you're saying is wrong to it must have happened just like you said it was. That is a very powerful thing to tell people. She can use it against me. Hmm. Um, but yes, the mind also does this in terms of have I lied, have I been deceitful or not. Um, so OCD is very fucking intrusive, very fucking annoying. Uh, it likes to add shame and guilt to random things. Same so, in you've had a really nice conversation about something. We hope you enjoyed it. Those of you decide to intrusively replay it a fraction of a moment with me, but add shame and guilt to it, that I've done something wrong. And you know, if I engage it, I'm literally there going, that's fine, it's a normal conversation. We say that kind of stuff to each other all the time. Those of you like, no, feel guilt, feel shame. And I, you look at the responses there to want to engage with it. It's want to go, no, I don't feel that way, that's not right. Why, why am I having this intrusive thought feeling?